Okay. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> the red light is on. He got me. He got you. Okay. The first thing everybody wants to know is, why did you leave Portland in the first place? To explore the world outside of Portland and to see if what we were doing here would work in the outer reaches. And guess what? What? It did. It did? Yeah. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you go? Well, we hit the road, mm -hmm. as you know. and uh, Well, not everybody knows that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, we, we took our show on the road. We uh, published a book. Uh, the Ukulele and Songbook, mm -hmm. because we have developed this one-hour class. Actually, I've taught the class in five minutes, but in <laughs> one hour, we've taught uh, thousands and thousands of people uh, their first four or five chords on the ukulele mm -hmm. and a bunch of songs, and uh, we took it on the road. We bought a very small recreational vehicle, mm -hmm. or better known as an RV, yeah. and we brought 24 extra ukuleles with us. Thanks to Kala. The loaners, <laughs> thanks to the Kala Ukulele Company, mm -hmm. and uh, we drove all over the country and uh, taught our class at music stores and libraries at private parties and uh, had a great time. And but it's, it sounds like it would be fraught with Albert Brooks problems. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. there were stories. But, I mean, inevitably, we were living in 72 square feet. Wow. And it was really fun. It really? actually was. It was great. Except when the GPS tells you there's a wonderful <laughs> trailer park or campground and it's not there. And you end up, you know, sleeping in your RV behind uh, a really disgusting looking something. <laughs> Or it, leads Somewhere. You to, or it leads you to the Old Goat Trail. The Old Goat Trail in Colorado. The what? The Old Goat Trail. Goat? Oh, goat. The Old Goat Trail. Yes. The GPS told us... Did you us take that seriously? We, I mean, did you take did. that personally? <laughs> no, it was our first day of having a GPS, and we, re we didn't realize yet that GPSs in those days didn't do U-turns at all. So you just go forward always until you can go get to where you're going. So we had to go a mile <laughs> uphill... On a shale road. It wasn't really a road. It was the old goat trail. Yeah. And it was exactly the width of our wheelbase. And it was snowing. And it was freezing cold outside. And there was about a 500 foot drop just to our right. And Kate happened to be driving. She's a great driver. But when I noticed <laughs> the white in her knuckles, I said, stop the car. <laughs> Put on the handbrake. And uh, I'll take over. And... Uh, we got to our destination and told, actually, we were going to be doing a, a workshop and a concert at this music shop, at Steve's Music. Yeah. And Steve looks at us and says, are you okay? <laughs> and he said, well, we just drove up the old goat trail. And he said, even old goats don't go up the old trail. Yeah. I wrote about it in our blog on Quality Folk yeah. in quite a lot of detail. So, so then how did you end up in Seattle, or why? Oh, well, uh... Well, first we were in Olympia for two and a half years. You were? Yeah, and it was a great two and a half years. Our daughter and granddaughter live in Olympia. Mm -hmm. And uh, we taught there, and uh, we had a, a regular class where we taught the youth class, and mm -hmm. I taught private lessons, and uh, had a great couple of years there. And then... Uh, I, I had hurt my back from schlepping just a little too many ukuleles mm -hmm. on one little trip. And... Uh, so I couldn't tour for a good bit there. And all out of the blue, I was recovering. I'm, I'm, I'm all better now. But uh, Dusty Strings up in Seattle mm -hmm. got in touch with us uh, to say that their director for the music school and concerts and events was leaving. Uh -huh. And we think you guys would be just perfect. What do you think? What do you think? So we went up. We made a two-year commitment and went up there. Mm -hmm. And um, Steve became a teacher. I was the director of the school and just added a little sizzle to what was going on and stirred it up our style. <laughs> and uh, we got a sing going on Wednesdays at noon where people from Google and Amazon and all these tech companies <laughs> around the neighborhood would come in at noon. And uh, we'd always get at least a minion of a dozen people, but often more than that. And we would sing for an hour. And... Uh, we the tips went to an organization called Solid Ground, which mm -hmm. is very like Sisters of the Road here. Mm -hmm. And in those two years, we raised over four thousand dollars with that wow. noontime sing. Wow! And we just kind of 
So, I even think but so. Portland was calling. Oh uh, man, Portland is home. Yeah, thirty-five years, family, friends, Dave community, yeah. our history. Well, we, Kate moved here in seventy-seven, and I moved here in seventy-eight. Yeah, and uh, you, once you've dug in here, you really can't leave for too much longer than four and a half years. Yeah. And so that's why we're sitting in this house, which is the bride stripped bare. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, at the foot of Rocky Butte. Yeah. yeah at the foot of a yeah. volcano. Yeah. We hear there are owls and uh, coyotes <laughs> yeah. and eagles in our backyard. Wow. So we're looking, for, looking forward. Yeah, this forward will be here. the big chapter. This will be. Yeah. We're going to really settle in here. And you'll both have studios. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll be doing. I've also I've been doing a lot of my art. Yeah. I've been drawing and making sculptures and. Uh, out of scrap materials. Uh -huh. I don't buy any new materials for my sculptures, uh -huh. and they're all playable. Uh -huh. You can make music on wow. them. Yeah. Uh -huh. People think I'm a little strange when they see me walking down the street <laughs> picking up garbage out of the gutters, but... Uh, found objects. Found objects. <laughs> yes. Well, actually, Steve's been, his work has been exhibited in museums, the Bainbridge Island yeah. Museum of Art, and is currently in the Shenandoah Valley Museum of Folk Art. In Virginia, West Virginia. In Virginia. In Virginia. Yeah. Oh. Winchester. So it must be exciting to, to like, you know, make a house for yourself. It's pretty amazing. We uh, Have found you done the this house. before? Never. No. Uh -huh. No. Uh -huh. I once replaced... A light bulb? I replaced some light bulbs <laughs> in our last house. But... Um, uh, How many ukulele players does it take <laughs> to screw in a light bulb, Steve? <laughs> we Some don't light. need light. <laughs> we create light. <laughs> yeah, but we found the house just as our new best friend and next door neighbor Alvin yeah. uh, was had gutted the house, and uh, we get to pick out the colors and uh, and he claims that he's going to put the toilet back in and, <laughs> and the kitchen put a, at least a, a little two burner propane stove for us. You better watch it because yeah. you, you can get a propane habit really yeah, easily. Yeah, no kidding, man. No I know kidding. a guy who had a three hundred dollar a day propane habit. <laughs> <laughs> but he stayed very warm. Yes. Very warm. Uh, and we'll be seeing a lot more of you, you know, playing around town. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 In yeah. fact, we've got some fun gigs coming up. Yeah. Uh, we'll be playing the Winter Folk Concert yeah. at mm -hmm. uh, the Aladdin. Mm -hmm. And we'll be working with uh, Tom Paxton. Mm -hmm. uh, he'll Alberta be doing a concert here at the Alberta Rose cool. in January. Yeah. And yeah. And we've got a new band called the Portlanders ah. with Mick Doherty uh -huh. and Lauren Sheehan uh -huh. and Kevin Shea My Johnson. My former neighbor. Yeah. Uh -huh. and yeah. Kevin Shea Johnson. Between us, we have 250 years of <laughs> In music. folk songs. Folk songs. Wow. Oh my God. And everybody's a singer, so we have five part harmony and all kinds Whoa. of. It's going to be fun. So I'm looking for just the right venue for a monthly uh -huh. for that. Awesome. But um, one thing back to this house. The thing that's really extraordinary is the uh, opportunity to create a place based on what we want to do uh -huh. on our lifestyle. So with art, music, writing, teaching, we can do all of it here. Steve has his studio, uh -huh. where I hear I'm not allowed to go into oh, actually. Oh, of course not. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll have mine. And we have a nice big open space for people to come and sing and play. Uh -huh. And it's going to be fun.